Hello friends, in today's topic we are going to see what are the ms dot commands and what is what is the ms dos command. So let's get started. Okay. So contents of today's topics are what is command, what are the types of command, what is internal command, what is external command, and types of the internal command. This much topic we are going to cover. So first what is command so command are the set of instruction which are meant to carry out a common task means so suppose for a specific task or a, a com for example deleting the files changing the directories listing the contents of the specified directory or etc so command is nothing but is the set of instruction which is are meant for carrying out a specific task so this is command so next types of command what are the types of command there are two types of command first one is internal command and second one is external command so first we will see what is internal command internal commands are the commands those commands that are automatically loaded in the memory means internal it also known as internal commands are built-in commands means when we install OS OS that time along with the DOS these commands are get loaded this commands does not require any special files it's called as an internal command then second is what is external command external commands are command which are not built in which require a special file storage and which are not present in a command.com file so we have seen what is internal command so in today's topic we will see the types of internal command and my next video I will be explaining the types of external command so now we will see types of internal command so types of internal command so first types is CLS CLS is a clear skin command which is used for clearing the screen then second one is DRI DRI is a command for uh, listing all the directories and files present in a directories second third one is date command date command is used for uh, uh, modifying the date or changing the date then fourth one is time command same as date it will be time command is used for changing the time or modification of the time then fifth one is the where command where command is used for uh, suppose the current which OS we are currently running so what is the version of that OS for knowing that we use the make use of where command uh, next one is six is copy con so copy con command is command used for creating the files so I will be explaining you in practically how we can use, use it. We will see it in practical session. Type command. Type command is a command which are user for uh, seeing the contents which we have written in a file by using a copy con command. Next, eight one is the ren. Ren command which is user for renaming the file. Suppose if you want to give the another name, you are, you already created the file and you want to give the another name, then you can use a ren command next ninth one is delete command so delete command is the command which is user for deleting the files next is a uh, MD MD command is for creating the directories as we can use copy con command for creating the files same way MD command is user for creating the directories next is CD command so CD command is command which is user for changing the directories or entering into the directories next RD command RD command is a command which is used for removing the directories. If we want to delete a directory, then we can use up RD command. But one note is that RD command before removing the directory, we must have to delete all the files in that directory. Then only RD command will be work. So next one is copy command. Copy command is a command which is used for copying the files from one uh, directory to the another directory. So these are the some commands internal command there are a lot many internal commands but these are some basic commands and if you want to learn about more internal commands so you can search it on Google so now we have seen the types of internal command now one by one we will see in practical how we can make use of those internal command so we will see in command prompt so for that entering into command prompt just uh, go to start programs and type CMD okay you can see here CMD and right click on it and run as a administrator 
say yes ok so now we are in a C drives as you see this is the command prompt which I have launched now so now first so first command which I am going to tell you is that cd dot dot cd dot dot so what is cd dot dot cd dot dot is a command which is used for moving one step back from a current directory means now we are in a system 32 directory now we want to move one step back so for that we use the cd dot dot so if we press enter now then we will be in windows directory so let's see what will happen if i press enter so as you can see that we are in a windows directory means cd dot dot command is a command which is used for moving one step back from a current directory ok cd dot dot there is one more command called cd backslash cd backslash command this command is also used for moving back but directly to the root directory so where is our root directory is c so from windows we can directly move to the c means if you want to move directly to the parent directory just type cd and backslash and press enter so here we are in a current directory which is called c so now i'm going to show you how we can use up uh, other internal commands like uh, creating the directory renaming the directory etc for uh, for that i am i will be show this i will be showing you all this internal command in my d drive now i am currently in c drive so now i want to move to the d drive so how we can move from one drive to the another drive simply just type that drive name and colon and just press enter so we will be in a specified drive that is d now if you want to move to the directly to e drive so just type e colon enter and you will be navigated to the dead directory e but uh, now i want to show you to the all the commands in my d drive so i will move back to the my d drive enter ok d drive so first internal command which we are going to see is the md make a directory command so md command md md command what is md command md command is a command which is used for creating or making a directory ok so for uh, how you can use this md command so just simply type the md space and the directory name which you want to create so so this is our hardware class so i will just give the directory name as hardware hard h a r d w a r d hardware and i press enter so here is that a sub directory or a file hardware is already exists means for my previous uh, thing i have created already one hardware file so it was saying that already presented okay so just we will type it just another name md we will type give the name internal command internal cmd internal cmd and press enter so now you you saying that there is no message means the directory has been successfully created so we have created the directory uh, md command ok so now what we will do ok that you will have in doubt that how we will come to know the directory is created or not yes that doubt, doubt will be obviously come so for verifying that just type dri the directory which you have created that is internal cmd so what it will the this command will do it will display the directory whether it is present or not in where d so you can see internal command directory is successfully created directory of d drive internal command means we have successfully created the directory ok so now what we want to do next command which i have going to tell you is this cd directory change the directory ok so what the cd directory will do this will be this command will be used for moving into the directory or changing the directory now we have created internal command directory and now what we want to do we want to enter into this directory so for that we will be using cd cd is the command for changing the directory and the directory name internal cmd 
internal CMD. Here it is. We are in internal CMD. Okay, internal command. So here, I, one more directory I want to create it. So for that, type just MD for creating that MD, and type the directory name is demo. Demo is the directory name, and just press enter. Directory has been created successfully. How we will come to know the directory is created or not? Just type DRI. See here, demo is the directory is successfully created. Okay, so now we have seen directory. Now, if you want to move into that demo directory, how we will move? For that, we will use CD. CD is the command and the directory name where we want to enter demo. Yes, so now we are in a demo directory. So till now we have seen how we can create a directory with the help of uh, MD command, which is make a directory. And next uh, we have we have seen that how we can enter into that directory by using a CD command. <coughs> and we have also seen that CD dot dot command and CD backslash command. Okay. So now the thing is that how we will display the present directories are means already created directories in the drive how we will see that so let's see so first we will be coming back to our d drives okay how we how we can come directly to the d drives by using cd backslash this com this command will be what this command will help us to move directly to the d drives suppose if i want to move from demo to the internal command then i will be using cd dot dot command with the help of this command I will be moving to the internal CMD command but now what I want to do is that I want to move directly to my D drive so I will type CD backslash and press enter so now I am in a D drive ok so next command we are going to see is DRI DRI command DIR command ok DRI command what is this command what this command will do and how we can use this command ok so see we will see that so DRI command is a command which is used for displaying or getting the list of already created directories or files or your created directory and files means DRI command will give you the list of all the directories present in the drive or a files ok so how you can use this for using the DRI command just type DIR and press enter how you can use this just type DIR and press enter so it will be display all the directories present in the drive D so you can see that I already created one directory called demo by dot txt these are the drives so now uh, previously which directory we have created internal command see here internal command so it will give the display the list of the files and directory etc ok so this is what DRI so now DRI has some modifiers means has some modifiers like uh, in a uh, programming language we can call the methods or attributes okay so we will see the attributes d i r okay then now we want to see only the hardware or uh, yes we can see only the hardware or internal command directory whether they are in a d drive so what we will do just give the dri space the file name or a directory name which you want to list so now which I want to do is I want to list the high dot text so I will just type txt sorry high dot txt and just enter here we can see high dot txt file this is this is one another one is dri backslash p which is used for <coughs> uh, displaying the d drives by list wise so let's check out that dri forward slash p what this command will do this command will give you the list of the directories or of files present in a drive page wise one page at a time like this one page at a time so currently these are the not much more directories so it showing you if suppose if you have hundreds of directory then it will display you page by page 
one by one one by one like this way okay then next okay next command uh, attribute of DRI is dir forward slash a forward slash s what this will do with the help of this attribute we will get the list of the directories and its sub directories and files means a directory and its sub directory and files so let's see what will happen enter okay so you are going to see here okay uh, these are the so many files and directories in one other one other sorry for interruption okay. yes let's see the friends here are the files and its subfolders okay see here mobd has a drive called mobile has sub directory called whatsapp has sub directory called media has sub directory called whatsapp and these are the sub directory and files so this is the use of dri forward slash dri forward slash a slash s we will get the files and its subfolders okay so next is that now till now we have seen how we can create the directories how we can change the directories and how we list the directories or files okay so now next is how we can create the files so next command we are going to see is creating the files which is copy con okay copy con is a command which is used for creating the files okay the important note here is that in dos we can create a three types of files with the three extensions first one is dot txt second one is doc file which is doc and third one is the exe file that is executable files these three types of files we can create in a dos okay so now we are going to create one text file for that we have typed the command called copycon okay, copycon is a command which is used for creating the files just the how we can use the copy copycon command just type the copycon command space your file name which you want to give okay so i want to give f i r s t first dot t x t first dot t x t and just press enter so as you enter as you press the enter you will see here one cluster which is blinking means it states that we have successfully created the file and file is ready to write in content so just write whatever you want so I will write hi this is sorry this is my first class okay so here yeah, we have written the content now how we can save this content into file for saving the content just press control Z and press enter so you will see that message one file has been copied means the file has been successfully created and the content are saved so what we have used control Z control Z is used for saving the file okay copy con type txt this is what we have created with the help of this method we have created the file what is copy con copy con is a command and first dot txt is a file name which you want to create suppose if you want to give the another file so let's see you will get another file called so for creating file copy space con and a b c a b c dot e x e press enter write whatever you want to do and save with the help of control set press enter so here we can see one file has been copied so you can see the difference is that here we have type the txt extension and here we have given the extension exe so specify that the first file which we have created which is the text file and the second file which is abc we have created is the executable file so these are the difference and one more uh, extension we can create is copy con like x y z dot d o s c doc file enter 
what whatever you want to type and just save it by control Z press enter here you can see one file has been copied so now we have seen how you can create the three types of file in DOS first one is .txt second one is executable file third one is doc file how you can create with the help of copycon command okay so this is what we have said how creating the file so next command which I am going to tell is that how we can view the content of ret written content of the files means here in first file I have written this line hi this is my first class okay so now I want to display or I want to see the content of this file so how I can do that so for that we make use of type command T Y P E type command what is type command type command is a command which is used for displaying the content of created file okay how we can use this for using the type command just type the command typ and the file name which you want to display the content so which file we want to we want first file so just type file uh, st sorry file name is in capital now f i r s t first dot which extension txt st and just press enter so here you can see hi this is the my first class these are the content which I have written in my file how with the help of type command so just type is a command and first dot txt is the file name which I, I have created and these are the command which I have written okay this is the type command okay so next command which I am going to tell you that how we can rename the file okay suppose if you want to rename the file from first to second or uh, anything if you want to give the name how we can do this so for that we make use of rain command a rain command now what is rain command rain command is a command which is used for renaming the renaming the file means changing the name how we can use this for using the rain command just type rain the file name which want to file name which you want to rename which file we want to rename first so type first if I uh, st along with this extension dot txt and the new name which we want to give so new name is like a b c or suppose one two three dot txt and press enter so file has been successfully renamed and one more note is that we can use minimum eight characters for giving uh, for the naming the file minimum eight character in a ms dos by above that we cannot give the name or cannot assign in the characters okay so we have renamed the file one two three dot txt okay so for that we will check whether the file has been renamed or not how we can do with the help of dri command dri okay and the file name which file we want to search one two three dot txt why one two three because first file dot txt we have renamed it with one two three so it is done or not for seeing that we are using this command so just press enter yes it is successfully created here is dri to see here is the file one file to identify this is the file name means we have successfully renamed the file okay so now we have seen what we have seen how we can create the file how we can uh, see the content of the file and how we can rename the file so next command which are going to see is copying the file from one directory to the another directory means suppose uh, if you want to copy the one to three dot txt file from our uh, d drives okay into the folder called internal command where in internal command so this 123.txt file in a d drive you want to copy it into the internal command so how we can do this we can do this with the help of copy command copy okay copy command sorry okay copy command how we can use the copy command for using the copy command just type the copy 
and the file name which we want to copy so which file we want to copy one two three one two three what is the extension txt okay now where we want to copy this file we want to copy this file in a d drive there is one directory called uh, internal cmd so just give the path of that directory d colon forward slash the directory name inter null cmd or uh, see here if you are given any if you are given wrong name or wrong path the file will not be copied so please carefully type it and just press enter see one file has been copied the file has been copied from d drive to internal cmd drive successfully file has been copied okay so we have seen how we can copy the file this is for copying the file okay suppose what if we want to copy the directory only okay we want to copy the directory from one side to the another drive means we have internal cmd drive we want to copy this directory for copying the directory we make use of robo c o p y copy robo copy command robo copy command is a command which is used for copying the directories okay which directory we want to copy internal cmd internal cmd internal cmd where we want to copy we want to copy it into the e drive e drive so type the e colon e colon forward slash sorry e colon backslash and press enter wait for one minute here it is the file has been successfully copied okay so this is we have seen how we can copy the directory if you want to copy the file then we make use of copy command along with the file name here is sorry here it is copy which file we want to file copy the file that copy file name and the path where we want to copy and press enter and if you want to copy the directly uh, directory then robo copy command is used for copying the directories same way just give the row robo copy command the directory which you want to copy and where we want to copy so this is what we have seen copying the files so these are the commands which are related to the files how we can create the files how we can copy the files how we can view the content of file and how we can rename the files okay so now next is how we can delete a file means suppose now if you want to delete the file okay you don't want that file so how you can delete the file so for that we have to use the command called dle along with the file name 123.txt and press enter here see here uh, what it will give del is not recognized as internal or external command what it was saying del is here is I have done some spelling mistake so that's why I'm telling you while typing your command type the accurate spelling so what is the uh, de L D E L one two three dot T X T enter. So now you can see here is that file has been deleted. Okay. So thing is that we I think you are remember that we have removed or we are copied into E. That's okay. So here is what deleted. Now we want to see whether that this one two three has been deleted or not. How we will come to know? Yes make use of dir space file name 123.txt if there is that if there is file called 123.txt it will be get displayed or if that file has been deleted then it will not be displayed it will say the file not found let's see see here it's saying that file not found means we have successfully deleted that file with the help of what delete command which is del okay delete command so this is what we are seeing for deleting the 
directories now what if we want to remove the directory only this is for delete command is for file what if you want to delete the whole directory only so for that next command is what rd rd command is a command for removing the entire directory okay just type the directory name internal cmd and press enter so here is the directory is not empty i already told you that before deleting the directory we have to delete the files okay whatever present in there so we are seeing that directory is not empty means internal command contains something so for that first we have to delete all the files so first we have to move to the internal command how we will move in internal command directory use cd internal internal cmd directory name this is the directory name uh, this is not command directory name press enter now see which are the files of content here it is three directories are there in internal command demo there is one directory called demo so first we need to remove this so for how we will make use of rd demo demo press enter okay the directory has been successfully deleted now we will see we will try to delete the internal cmd but if i type rd dot internal command it will not remove the directory why why because we are already in a internal cmd directory if you want to delete any directory then we have to come out from that directory so we will come out how will come cd dot dot one step back yes now we type rd internal cmd internal cmd press enter that it has been successfully deleted let's see whether it is deleted or not dri internal cmd see here file not found means directory is not present there so we have successfully deleted the directory now next next command is a time command time command t i m e time command is time command time command is a command which will display the current time according to the system and you can also modify the time okay so you can see that i have given the command called time and press enter we are seeing that today's time is 17 16 22 18 7 means according to the system time this is system time 17 16 this is the clock format of 24 and if it, if it is in a uh, 12 clock format what will be the time 5 16 22 87 is the microsecond millisecond and here you can give the new time if you want to give but see we should give it in this format only okay so now we don't want to give next command is a date command these are the command date command same as time which will be date command is a command which can be used for viewing the date or modifying the date see here now we can modify the date let's see 08 08 08 forward slash 12 forward slash 2000 something i will give and press enter so here you can the system cannot expect the date enter because it is not in a proper format see here 2017 say enter date is accepted so let's see whether the date is modified or not yes date is modified but this is wrong date na so we will make it correct what is the today's date 0 what is month 07 forward slash date is 21 forward slash 2017 enter date here it is the current date is fr 07 2021 2017 okay friend where uh, next command is a where command 
VER where command is the command which is used for displaying the Microsoft current version here you can see so where command we can use so next command is CLS CLS command CLS command is a command which is used for clearing the screen so let's see what will happen as you see it has cleared all the screen so CLS command is used for clearing the screen so last command in today's class we are going to see is exit e x i t exit press enter so exit command is used for exiting from the prompt so that's all for today and in my up next coming class i'm going to explain you all about the external command thank you